hold here. Parallel. Bridge hold to plank. To plank. Um, hold using a skateboard, which in my mind is an unstable surface. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it needs some control. Okay, let's get up. One, two, three, four, five, hold. And then one last time. Let's finish strong. As long as possible. Hold here, hold here. Your glutes are tight. Glutes are tight. Engage your core. Your entire the hamstrings and then okay get up slowly one two shaky shaky four five okay back to our bridge and then slowly get back to the ground good job oh it's incredible to watch this stability yeah well that's probably because of the core, the core strength. And now we're going to get into just some single leg glute bridges. Right, thank you for cheering. Just like fast. Burn out. Okay. Remember to thrust up as many reps as you can, and remember to match the numbers on each leg. Actually, I'm already lost, but whatever. This is the last work, a uh, leg workout, so. You don't have to worry. Well, but we're gonna get into some animal flow in a bit, so. Reserve some energy. Done with our lower body now. Oh, okay, and then now we're gonna move on to our back. So the way we're gonna do it is we want to kind of pre-fatigue our back as well. So we will first of all do a movement that's gonna make you. Feel your back more, which is a superman. I'm focusing on my upper body. I'm not raising my legs. Focusing on the squeeze, the shoulder squeeze in. Right, how's your recovery going? Like. Um, and what's your workout like these days? Do you think, like, do you feel like it's gradually getting better? Like you're getting more strength? Because I know your goal is um, pull ups. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, hold. Please hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. And then we're gonna move on to our lat pull down. Yeah, 
Yeah, right. How's your health? How's your recovery going? Any updates? So now getting into our let's put down. I'm gonna do both of my arms first. Just to know how much resistance it is. Okay, and I'm gonna hold on my right leg. My right leg's not gonna move. My right arm is not gonna move. It's gonna stay here. I'm gonna work on my left. You guys feel the burn if you're doing following along and then of course roll um since back is our stronger muscle we can use the higher resistance and wrap it around your Remember to squeeze. So we're gonna roll, and your elbow is always close to your body. Let's roll. Row, row, row the boat. Row. Slowly release and then roll, squeeze, down, so and down. I'm talking to my mom, but she's not. She did. She thought I'm talking to you. <coughs> probably. You'll be. I'll go on my my tool. Four. Hold. But remember your body is not swinging with the resistance band. And you're training your back, not your you're not using your hands or your biceps. Of course, you're gonna engage your biceps, but it's more on the back. That's why we have to kind of activate your back first. Okay, and release. We don't even have. 
have to do so many reps because like it's already pretty fatigue. And let me see. Now we're gonna do this. This. For the rear delts. And why do I put this behind our back? After our back workout? Because then your back is fatigued. So you're not gonna use your back to compensate for it, like to assist your rear delts. Feel your rear delts and release. Okay, let me read. So, hold on. So, going strong, walk four, wait, walk two, walk four to five times a day. I don't know all the move I do, but my favorite a dead bug for the core um claim shells for the glutes yoga hip opener moves anti scolis scoliosis moves which is leaving hips sideways oh flexing i'm sorry my eyes flexing hips sideways against the curve to relieve it bike five minutes three times squats lat moves um qigong i'm learning and adding as a mobility meditation i also add 15 pounds um dumbbell to core and upper body moves so you're going strong you really are going strong one of my walks is indoor and with booty band on legs and other four are outside. Wow. Well, I gotta say, well, you're training. You do like really plan out your your training, which is amazing. Like and and you don't feel any pain, right? I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, you're progressing. Do some more rear delts and some holes. I'm really feeling my rear delts because it's a muscle group that you kind of, it's so easy that you would use your back to do it so you don't feel it on your delts. But if you pre fatigue it, you will easily feel it. Actually. Oh, I see the red. That must be go go the bun. Hold, five, four, three, two, one, up. Ah. Next, see, um, I'm eating now. What are you eating right now? I'm always so curious about what other people are eating. I mean, especially you. Um, where's my other bed? Oh, there. Are you eating your main meal with ground beef? Last move for upper body is lateral raises to the side to the front. Okay, as many reps as you can. Just remember if you feel like you have difficulty raising maybe not so much resistance or if you start to lose your form like if you start to raise your shoulder shrug your shoulders then that means it's good time to stop okay so it's a good time for me to stop and step on the same resistance other side And then after this, 
we'll go for a short break and then animals will. <laughs> Which is my favorite part. So today we did yoga, we are doing bands, and later on we are doing animal flow. And I'm gonna let you guys learn an actual flow that you can practice at home. And I believe you're gonna like it a lot. Okay, so I'm done with my shoulder raises. Ah, I'm now eating my main meal. Ooh, that's amazing. Okay, we're gonna go for a short break and after that, we will be doing some animal flow, some reviews, and then learn a flow. See you guys in a bit. Be right back. I have a book from physical therapy, like 30 pages, and it has moves that are necessary and progression moves, but I kind of went my own way based off body feelings. Yeah. 
well, if your body tells you you need stretch, stretch. If you need whatever, just do what your body feels okay doing. But time to time, I need to change things up so I don't spend time learning names. Yeah, learning names, it's not necessary. As long as you know how to move correctly, names are not that important. Just doing the moves and getting the results, letting the good results stay in my routine. So it's like adding on. So my moves are growing each day. Mm, that's nice. I like asking my body, how do we feel? And going off memories and results needed. Though Doing those random moves with a handful of necessary moves after my stretching. That sounds nice. Yeah, listen to your body. I guess like for most of the people who... Thank you for the... Wait. That wasn't me typing. That was... Okay. That's... That's Dane, right? I'm like, wait, did I type something? No. <gasps> Anyways, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wait. Okay. Um, so now, I guess after an injury, people would finally realize like, how important it is to listen to their body. So, um, before we start animal flow, we have to warm up our wrist. So, tabletop position, and then let's shift front to back. Remember, you're spreading your fingers. And your entire hand is evenly, like your weight's evenly distributed. Let's do some circles. The wrist. And then reverse. And then change to facing to the side. And then let's do some left to right and then let's do the back of our the back of our wrist so if you don't feel comfortable doing this do it one side at a time if you can do this shift your weight a bit back and you can feel the stretch on your entire forearm and your wrist and then release now we're gonna do some rotation some rotation all direction Then change to the other side. And then, whenever you feel tired from our animal flow in the process when we're practicing, do this, okay? This is just similar to this. To this. <laughs> it feels weird. <laughs> this. Um, Aang said, yeah, that was me. Just trying... Um, testing something out. Okay, so um, yesterday we learned beast. So beast is basically um, from tabletop position, lift your knees up. This is beast. And then this is a piece of John. I am getting into animal flow. You're on time. How are you? Infinita! <laughs> How's your Friday night? Okay, so from beast, this is beast. Knees off the ground. Loaded beast is when you're kind of like in a child pose, but your knees are still lifted. Okay, this is loaded beast. 
and then beast loaded beast beast loaded beast beast and let's do some walk crawling crawling oh you're about to go to sleep oh you cannot crawl with this flow with this he's done going on Left hand, 
crack reach. It's like this. I don't feel so good. I mean, I can stay here. A rest. Okay, and then back. Back to here. So, this is crab walk. This is crab reach. Okay. And now I am gonna teach you another move, which is called. Peace out, John John said. Ha ha. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Um, Taylor, I like the crab reach. It helps my back. Yeah, it, it feels so nice. Like, so open up and your, your chest and everything. I don't know. I just love it. Um, but I think Dane said it hurts. Um, peace up, John. I said, ha ha, the dog. Ultra cute. I love this session. Ultra cute. Well, there's the other one that's there. She's, well, she's, I cannot control her. She's mean, mean dog. Uh, Taylor said, and please have joined her. Thank you for loving this session. Uh, too bad that you cannot stay. I'm gonna like teach a flow. Um, Taylor, not really a um, homey person. Mm. But if I go out, it's like more uh, for fun or special events, I guess, or date night. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, like for celebrations, for anniversaries, for Mother's Day, those kind of things. Oh, Mother's Day is so nice here. Mm, come on, uh, come here, doggy. Well, he left because he, he, he like my mom is away, like making her breakfast, and they just go because they want food. Uh, John, John, hug the dog. I'll hug it later. They're now like, they all, all they want is food. Taylor, I'm gonna take your doggy. I'm coming to Cali. I'm coming to Cali with me. Well, I know some, like, some cabins are allowed to have dogs in. And it amazed me because I thought dogs always have to be in the cage and, like, with the luggages. Okay, so now I'm gonna, from Loaded Beast. We're going to do a wave to plank and then this is a beast reach. So back to loaded beast, beast reach, loaded beast, beast reach. And then back to loaded beast. The other side. Beast reach. So it's another core exercise. And then back to loaded beast. So that's a new move. And then I'm gonna add on to the beast reach, which means from, okay. So our beast reach is to here. And then we're gonna simultaneously, at the same time, when we step down, the hand get up to guard. And then we have this window here. Your um, your palm, left palm, oh, fuck. <laughs> your left palm and your right leg, there's a window. So remember to open the window for the, so from here, you shoot your left leg over. And then go back into your loaded beast. Okay? It's a bit confusing, but we will practice. Hold on. Hold on, let's see. Uh, shout out peace of John John. Well, do John John, do you stream? Uh, Vicky, hello, how are you? It's been a while. 
I'm doing great. How are you? How's the training? How's life? Oh, doggies here. Doggies here. Oh. Oh. My God, he's heavy. Doggy king. Doggy. Juby. Juby. Oh, no way. We have to cover the pee. -pee. It's a <laughs> he is um 13 years old. Hold on. Let me see. So um piece of yang on you're very fit. <laughs> Thank you. I was very lean but now I'm like a different shape, I guess. Um, like he said, life, but thank you, John John. That's very nice of you. Like he said, um, life and training are great. Had a great chest workout today. That's nice. So you're, you're still like more body part splits. Like do you train bicep, tricep in a different day? Not like, I thought you're a push pull leg kind of. Uh, Dane said, Taylor, I'm getting ready for another night at work. Oh, yeah, he is now eating his food and then getting ready for night shift. Oh, don't go. Okay, from loaded beast to beast reach into this. And then shoot out. Okay, I'm gonna face you guys and do it again. So, from loaded beast way to get to beast reach, then shoot it out. Am I too close? Oh, well, a bit too close. And then back to loaded beast. So, the same on the other leg is loaded beast and then beast reach shoot shoot up and then back to loaded beast so when you get like really smooth you can basically make these moves into a more flowy thing so if Let's practice uh, several times. Right leg first. Loaded beast. Beast. Reach. And then you can do this to get back or jump back. Once again. And then immediately shoot out. And then this. again on isolating the muscle groups which is nice I mean everyone can find the way that fits them the best right and Coco Devon said I just hope they don't send me to hospital well where do they post you today I like to get home earlier as possible the Bruce Woods 
chest bras. Okay, so let's do it. Blow, blow it again. Okay, so load these. That the same move. Other side. Okay, so today's flow is going to be all the combination of what we learned. Remember um, yesterday I said from our feet to left leg under switch crab and then switch back to knees. Right leg under switch to Head, and then back to beast. Today we're gonna do the reverse. We can go from our crab, right leg under switch to beast, and then come back, left leg under switch to beast, and then come back. And you can even flip twice and then get back to the same position. Let's see. Uh, I'm at the office. That's good. Um, Vicky said, for me, that style of workout works best for me. For the most part, I will focus on lighter weights and higher reps. Oh, the volumes. Sometimes I go heavier with low reps, but I'm always focusing on the squeeze and range of motion. Yeah, more on like mind muscle connection. <laughs> like the feelings of the muscle, not like heavy weights, right? I guess. Well, Bane, I hope you got posted in a unit. So, so today I kind of want to, from crab, under switch, and then, under switch back, and under switch, and then switch back. So the first move is from crab. Let's see. Wait, let me think. Crab. Okay. So we're gonna do a two, hold on, do a two right leg under switch. So from crab. Right leg under switch to beast. And then, no, I'm sorry. Left leg under switch to crab. So you get to crab again. And then from here, we're gonna do a right arm crab reach. And then back. And then jump into loaded beast. From loaded beast, raise right leg as then switch and then shoot back to loaded beast. That is the flow. Okay, I know it's kind of confusing, but let's try it. So on the left side is so we basically flip over and then over again. Left side under switch to beast and then right under switch to crab again and then left hand crab reach back and then shoot into a loaded beast and then beast reach step and then shoot your legs out back to loaded beast so it's a lot of moves together, but let's practice a couple times together. Ooh, uh, it's not, it's not confusing. Cause John John, you flow. I know you flow. Okay, so let's start doing it. Um, we're gonna break it down. So from crab, 
two, beast, two, crab. Let's get back here. Again, left leg, and then switch to beast, and one left, and then switch to crab. Reverse, get back again. Once more, right leg under switch to beast, and then left leg under switch to crab. Back. So same on the left side is left leg under switch to beast, right leg under switch to crab. Get back. Um, left leg under switch to beast, right leg under switch to crab. Again. Left leg under switch to beast, and then right leg under switch to crab. So we're getting more, more. I'm familiar with the move. I think you could do macacao on the first try. What, 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 what is macacao? Maybe. Um, as a, okay. So, tell me what's macacao? <laughs> okay, from crab. We can, if you are more familiar with it, you can jump in immediately. I almost flip over. Um, two crab, okay? Like you only, you don't need to switch so many times. You're basically just from here, right leg under switch and then left leg down so left leg was on in the air when you were rotating again right leg under switch to crab so the left side is the same left leg under switch to crab Ooh, the first time i'm like always over foot okay left leg under switch to crab. Again, left leg under switch to crab. Oh, I pushed my phone. Okay. Um, the capillary. Oh, 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 those move. Well, you know what? Like, John, John, I don't know if you have ever do this, but I love like. They say it's, I'm kind of like water bending, but this and right and everyone. Like if you feel like you want to get into like mobility or anything, try to like imagine you have a plate on your um, palm and then always palms up. You cannot let the, that the oh, cup of fall so basically you just do whatever you feel like doing and just yeah, be creative and flowy which is really comfortable and yeah you can go like so everywhere it's just fun just have fun it's a flowy thing flowy thing <laughs> no rules Ah, so, okay, let's get back to our move. So that, crab, two, crab. And then, we're gonna get into our crab reach on our right hand, and then back, and then loaded beast, and then shoot your leg out. Back to loaded beast. So the left side is the same. Um, left leg under switch to crab. And then left arm crab reach. Back and then to loaded beast. And then left leg beast reach. Step and then shoot. And a loaded beast. That is the flow. Let's practice a couple times together. And that will be the flow. And you can always
always like go back and like practice, 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 practice makes, practice makes perfect. Well, I mean, mine is not perfect because like I learned myself, but ah, go, go, the one. Yeah, water bending. I love it. Oh. Um, oh, the basic, oh, the basic streamer. Hello, break dancing, yo. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of break dancing. I'm kind of, um, yeah, just crawling, animal moving. So let's do three times on the right side first. Starting from crab and two crab, right arm crab reach, and then into loaded beast, right leg up and shoot, and then back. The beast. Okay, again from our right side. So I, I don't know if the angle is okay. So from our crack, I'll call left leg, left leg under switch to back to crack. And then left leg. Left hand crab reach, and then back to loaded beast, and left leg reach and shoot, and then loaded beast. Okay, uh, having to cue and then do the work at the same time is so hard. Well, that's practice on our own, and. Then we'll be done. Practice. How are you doing, the basic streamer? Um, how's your training recently? Uh huh. So that is basically today's flow. It's a uh, we learned a series of combination, and you can practice at home. It's a good workout. It's endurance. It's strength. It's cardio. It's coordination it's everything it's a break dance ah wait um let's see ah uh, thank you for the shout out for the basic streamer thanks for the shout out matt moves uh, pretty basic mm. uh dane said no problem i like giving support back to fitness community just like how everyone supported me when I started this channel, yeah, yeah, we we love to support each other. That's that's because we're like smaller community, fitness and health here on Twitch. But of course, our workout. I gotta say, our workout never end without a cool down. So we have to do some stretches some yoga movement, some stretching, and then we will call it a day, okay? We're done with the animal flow. Maybe are you done with your food? The basic streamer. Last time, like, I saw you, like, streaming, um, game, you're playing game. How's the, the game? So that's stretch, that's open up our body and then spread our arms, reach up high into the sky. If you can, maybe a back bend, maybe. 
inhale and then exhale down to the mother earth and then inhale halfway up and then exhale fold again jump to plank chaturanga in two upward facing dog and then into downward facing dog. Now raise your right leg, three-legged dog, and then step to the front. And we will get to low lunge position. We're not doing any endurance um, move, okay? We're stretching. So don't get scared. Um, let's see. Ah, Taylor said, I'm back, the warrior's one. Steph, oh, Curry went crazy as usual in the fourth quarter. Taylor, do, so you love all kinds of blah, all kinds of sports. Do you play basketball? Oh, like I yesterday I was like asking my dad, like, do you know how to play volleyball? And he said yes. And I'm like, okay, seems like everyone can play volleyball. Dang, you gotta teach me how to play volleyball. Um, basic streamer said, oh, Dane said, I'm done eating. Well, that's good. Getting ready to head out. Uh, okay, we are actually almost done. Um, basic streamer said, curry for the clutch plays. Well, I think curry is really impressive. Um, well, I don't really know basketball, so I'm not going to say too much. <laughs> um, I took bets with my friends, Warriors, in six. Uh, so, Taylor, do you also play basketball? Or just, like, um, volleyball? I wish I could be, like, good at one sport. Because I'm not good at sports. Okay, so we just did our quad stretch, right? Our quad stretch. This was our quad stretch. And then our hip flexor stretch. Make sure you're at 90 degrees, 90 degrees. And then you do stretch your arm to the back. Because of the, your lengthening your left side body, so your left hip flexor is getting stretched. And it feels, it hurt, but it feels so good. And then now, let's do some hamstring stretch. Let's see. Hmm. Hey, ladies. Jane said, uh-oh. Oh, Dirty Dane, are you at the sideboard again? <laughs> oh, it was crazy last night. He didn't even get to nap. Um, uh, Coco, Dane said, I'll teach you basketball, volleyball, tennis, and badminton. Ooh. Wow, you know everything. What about ping pong? Um, Dane said, nope, gonna be in the office all night. And Taylor said, I love almost every sport. Not too fun of g golf unless I'm playing it. Well, well, or are you always watching people play golf? Okay, now we're into pigeon, just to stretch your outer thigh. Um, Uh, Dane said, oh, funny story, the guy last night needed to be put down. But when he was struggling, he kept yelling, Allah Akbar, the entire time. Yeah, I was watching your VOD. I think I, I, I saw that part already. You were sharing, like, how crazy it was. Oh, my God. Uh, I was laughing the whole time watching the show. <laughs> Taylor said, yes, I played basketball since I was like seven and I have a court 
in the backyard. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh my god, what? For real? Yeah, I guess it really gets really crazy. Okay, so now we're done with our right side. Let's go to our left side. First of all, do some pot stretch. Well, because we did train a lot of our quads. Well, I think yoga is mostly quads, um, shoulder and core and chest frontal part of the body. Wow, my dog is snoring. Okay. So, after we're done with the quad, and actually at the same time you're stretching your chest because you're grabbing your feet with both of your hands. So, it's a good stretch. And then now, Make sure, 90-90, and then let's do a hip flexor stretch. Oh my god, it hurts. And then, let's stretch our hamstring. Um, for real, wait. You know, uh, you know, I never watch bowl, but it's like watching paint dry. Yeah, it's like, so, nothing's happening, basically. You can go for a nap and then come back, it's still the same thing. <laughs> um, Things that for real, I couldn't hold my laughter and, and it was gold. And, well, then I guess you had a pretty um, entertaining ship then. Uh, uh, Dane would make me laugh harder if I was there. His laughing wouldn't make, make it worse. His dirty laugh. Well, he has many, <clears throat> many different kind of laughs. Coco the Bun said, oh, and another guy asked me if he could cover his sensor, sensor, and I asked him, okay, let's go into pigeon for the outer thigh, um, what sensor? Then he showed me his pee pee, and I'm like, do you want me to break that off? God, my dog just woke up because of my sound effect. It scared her. <sighs> he got a, a sensor because he stuck one of those ECG sensor on his pee pee. Oh. Wait, what is ECG? Electric. What, what, what? Huh. Why do people do weird things with their body? Where is it in there? Sensor you use to measure heart stuff. What the fuck? Well, did he do it to himself? Wait, oh? What the hell? What is this? 
Okay, yeah, I guess it says like war. So. Okay, other side. So, wow, that is a very, I feel like, I feel like it's a very, like, wholesome, wholesome, holistic workout. We did some yoga, we did endurance, and we did some bands, some animal flow, and some stretching, which is, I feel amazing, and I hope you guys enjoy today's workout and joining my workout if you're watching thank you if you're following along thank you as well like whatever being here i'm just so grateful um wait oh and of course he started eating his diaper and had his pee yep the psych word okay yeah i guess it i was kidding when i said it was busy okay yeah Great, you already give me a name. That's right. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's go rate strength. Hold. Strength. Strength old school. Okay. Raid. We're gonna go on the raid. Um, Taylor said she's gonna go poop and go, go have a FaceTime date with Dirty Dean. Well, mm, not a FaceTime. Bye. Oh, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, yeah, that's a uh, uh, <laughs> behind the scene. Anyways. So we're gonna go raid um strength old school. But I'm not gonna video call me he's driving. Who who the fuck eating their diaper? Oh lord. Right, good job today. I do appreciate your workout. I see myself in some of your moves. I see where I can progress, so thank you. Well thank you. Thank you for um being here for the entire time and sharing your progress and stay you're getting stronger and stronger i'm so proud of you taylor hi mom she's she looks great she's not with any makeup or anything she's 70 years old well anyways um taylor thank you for being here my girl and booty well arrived in four days oh yeah Let's go for a raid. Oh, I wanted to say hi to her. I'll tell her later. Um, John John, is it finished? Yeah, we're done. We're done. We're done flowing. I will see you soon. Okay, see you guys soon. Appreciate the space you hold for us. Thank you for streaming. Thank you from the deepest part of my heart to everyone else. Have a good night. Have fun. A good day, stay safe, and we'll go raid. Bye. Take care. Raid.